Hello, my name is Kyle Jarris, and I'm the Education Director at the Academy of Model Aeronautics. I'm glad you found this quick project, and I know you're going to have a great time and learn a lot. Without further ado, enjoy this quick project. So you never know where inspiration might strike. Such is the case for the Jet Cup. Using just a couple of little cups at home, you can make this into something that is a lot of fun, enjoyable to do, and doesn't take hardly any time at all. So let's go over the things you'll need. You'll need some scissors. You'll need some dental floss or some really lightweight string. Either or will work. And you'll need two small cups. Uh, these are paper. Uh, you could try it with plastic, but sometimes those get a little bit sharp. I would highly recommend you just go with one of these waxed paper cups. All right, and eventually you'll end up with this. Now, how is this going to fly, right? Stick around, we'll show you. So print out the instructions for Jet Cup. Easy to do. It's a single sheet front and back. And then flip it over and you've got your instructions. You're going to start by taking a Sharpie and you'll put a point at eight equidistant points on the rim of this cup, right? Now, you can get pretty fancy and start really measuring out using a ruler if you like. I don't think it's necessary. Um, if it looks straight, it is straight oftentimes. So let's just do that. I'm going to put a point here and then right across from it. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I turn the cup 90 degrees. I'm going to put a point here and a point here. So now each of the four points of a compass have a point. All you got to do at this point is find the middle between those first ones that we put in. And then you will find you have eight dots that for our purposes are equidistant. You know, the, this doesn't have to be perfect and that's part of the fun. You can change some things around. Okay, grab your scissors. You're going to need these. At each of these points you're going to cut down about two-thirds of the way down the cup. You want to leave a little bit of room at the bottom. It helps with strength for something we'll do later. So I'm going to make these cuts. And I'm not measuring, although certainly if, uh, if you'd like, um, this is an opportunity that you could measure these out. Um, and the nice thing about that is, too, you get to practice reading a ruler. Um, you can even get into some of the math around having, having to find the circumference and then divvy that up so you can measure it that way. Um, but this will give you an idea of what we're doing. Okay, set the scissors aside. We don't need them anymore. We've got our cup here. Now, obviously, that's not going to fly very well, and it kind of falls right away. But once we add these and fold them up, we end up with these rotor surfaces. And if you twist that, it'll fly, right? So in the same way, we're going to take this, turn it over, and you have to think about which way you want to uh, eventually pull this. So what I'm going to do, bend that over, and then twist right there. Now, this will work either way. You just have to remember which way you're bending these. So you see how I'm putting an angle there. It's like a 45 degree angle. So we're folding these down, folding these down, 45 degree angle. Then letting them unfurl a little bit. That's creating our surface there for basically a wing. And so this is going to fly in a similar way to a helicopter's rotors cause it to fly. And we call it the jet cup mainly because, I didn't quite cut that far enough, it looks kind of like the, uh, the front end of a jet engine. So you, you know how you've got the turbine fan blades, the uh, pre-compression blades in the, in the jet engine. Uh, as that turbine spins, it compresses the air and prepares it for, uh, well, how a jet works. So we won't get into all that, but um, that's where the name comes from. So right here, if you stop this process right now, you will actually have something that does fly. You can take this and twist it with your fingers, and it kind of works. You can play with it a bit. But what I've found works really well is to take your scissors again, find the seam of the cup where this is at, and what you're going to do is just cut right along that seam with your scissors. So we made a little notch there. So this is where your dental floss comes in handy. Now, of course, um, make sure you're uh, flossing daily, kids. Uh, your dentist will ask you about that when you see them. You don't want to have to lie. But for now, let's use a fresh piece of toothpaste. Or excuse me, dental floss. 
So you're looking at this and thinking, which way do you want to spin this to make it fly? So we're going to go the opposite way right now because eventually when we pull this, it's going to spin like this. You'll catch air underneath each of these rotors and it'll cause lift to occur. So we're spinning this around, spinning this around. There we go, there we go. And you'll want to practice this a few times. If you get it on your first try, you're doing great. Sometimes this takes a little bit of practice. Now, remember I said we need two cups? That's where that one goes in. So it's a little bit um, of a, of a action here <laughs> to try to get this right each time. So you're going to pull this while at the same time lifting this cup off. So it's a little tricky. Let's see if we can get this to work. One, two. Hey guys, I hope you had a great time with that quick project. We have a ton more content available, so be sure to check out the website amaflightschool.org and modelaircraft.org, both of which have a plethora of resources. Until next time, we'll see y'all later. Keep flying.